George Parr, you are a Conservative MP. Yes, I am. And you... Uh, <laughs> And in your time, of course, you, you've been a, a whip, a government a front bench spokesman, and uh, for a short time a junior minister. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've, I've tried to help my party in any way that I can. And now you've been arrested uh, <laughs> on suspicion of assaulting your wife with, uh, what was it, a serving dish? Or... Uh, uh, Le Creuset saucepan. Uh, Le Creuset saucepan. <laughs> Yes. Yes, it was, it was all a misunderstanding. Uh, my mm. wife sometimes doesn't quite grasp the, uh, the, the role of British politics. No, and, I, uh, I, I gather she's from the Czech Republic. Yes. <laughs> yes, I bought her last year. Yes. <laughs> and uh, she had this rather irrational agitation mm. uh, because, you know, I have to spend so much time with Chantel, yes. my research assistant. Yes. Because this is not the first time you've been involved in a fracas of, of this kind, is it? No, no. Well, I've, I've been married four times. Mm. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> five times. Five times. <laughs> including yes. this one, yes. yes. Yes, and so inevitably, you know, from time to time, there are these domestic mm. contretemps. Yes, and you've had a number of uh, well publicised uh, extramarital affairs. Yes, but I'd like to point out never with a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, once, once. <laughs> once, but it was a very brief relationship. Yes. I mean, 20 minutes at the outside. Right. <laughs> and uh, I remembered I had a train to catch. So yes. Um, and, uh, but now with, with um, David, Cameron, David Cameron putting uh, the family and marriage at the centre of Conservative Party policy, um, uh, w would you feel happy fighting an election on um, family values? Well, there's nothing I like better than a good fight. Mm. <laughs> But I think a very telling point is this, that all the wives uh, that I have married have, uh, after, you know, various rather violent disputes and uh, that kind of thing, they've all stood by me. Have they? Well, not right next to me. No. Uh, but sort of eight feet away. You, yes, but uh, you, you don't feel that um, you could be an embarrassment to David Cameron? Oh, no, look, people go into politics for different reasons. Mm. You know, little Dave wants to save the world yes. and do good and all that sort of thing, ride his bicycle. Yes. And, <laughs> you know, that's all right as far as it goes. And, and what about you? Why did you go into politics? Uh, largely uh, to meet women. <laughs> mm. um, of course... The Conservative Party has long been associated um, over the years with a number of scandals, apart from yourself, has been Tim Yeo, David mm -hmm. Mellor, mm -hmm. uh, Cecil Parkinson, mm -hmm. Alan Clark, mm -hmm. Hartley Booth, yes, Pierce and... Merchant. Yes, many, mm. many more. M many more, yes. <laughs> but you could argue that these philanderers as you, uh, have caused the, the, the Conservative Party problems. <laughs> well, you call them philanderers, but, but some of us, and lots and lots of people, wouldn't say philanderers, no. they'd say red-blooded men. Yes. <laughs> you don't think that this uh, has damaged the party electorally? Oh, not in the least. No, no. Alan Clark was adored by the voters. Mm. And we have, you know, Boris Johnson now. Mm. <coughs> and uh, what we must never forget is when all these scandals were happening, uh, we were having 18 years of Conservative rule. Mm. And now we have a leader who says that marriage and the family are the most important things on earth, and we're ten points behind in the polls. Yes. <laughs> the problem with the conference was that nobody stood up for traditional Tory values. Mm. <laughs> uh, free markets, mm. bashing foreigners, mm. and shitting anything that moves. Yes. <laughs> But people, many people would say that there's no future in that. Uh, in well, that you ask people after four years of sermons yeah. from Brown and lectures from people like Ed Balls and the little mm. millibands, mm. <laughs> you know, what we've got to do is put some clear blue water between us and the other lot. Just go, go back to being the nasty party. Yes. Fact. Yes. Well, yes. I mean, there is an argument that since Margaret Thatcher, the leaders of the Conservative Party have been far too nice. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, Ian Duncan Smith, mm. Hague, 
John Major. Yes. Well, John Major did sort of redeem himself by jumping on Edwina Curry. <laughs> But we didn't find out about it until he'd left. And so, you know, there was no, there was no advantage to the party. But, but Michael Howard is different, surely? Michael well, Howard? Michael Howard, of course. Uh, immediately he got the job, he started trying to be nice. Mm. It was a disaster. Is it? He should have stayed being the shit he actually is. <laughs> In your own defence, you would say that at least you've been against um, <clears throat> hypocrisy and uh, uh, sanctimoniousness. Well, not necessarily. I think there is a place for hypocrisy and <laughs> sanctimoniousness in politics. Mm. The trouble is that only the Labour Party seem to be any good at it. Yes. George Parr, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes,